Flies don't seem the most appealing of the animal kingdom. However, if you look a little closer and dig a little deeper, you will enter into a micro world that I would challenge anyone not to find both beautiful and beguiling, and one that we secretly rely upon in a multitude of ways. The Dipterus Forum was founded in 1993 and has since been dedicated to exploring and discovering the thousands of fly species of the British Isles. We've been working with the Dipterus Forum and the Natural History Museum for coming up for 10 years. It's an amazing organisation for the museum as well as for the staff. So for the museum, we're actively working alongside all the Dipterus in the UK and they're the ones going out and collecting everything. They're the ones going out recording, they're getting all the information. So our collections, our British collections here, are suddenly being actively increased again. We've got new material, current material, it's really helpful for long-term analyses, for understanding climate change patterns. Of the 7,000 species of fly in the UK, only a very small proportion of these are actually pests. The large majority are key players in some very surprising natural processes. Flies, we're realising now, are probably some of the most critical pollinators on the planet. So we're looking at distributions of hoverflies, for example, across the UK. So we can understand when the climate change, when the impacts of that are fully understood, what populations are going to be able to exist where. This lovely little fly here that everyone hates, it's a biting midge, and they're like, that's revolting. But without that biting midge, that is the only thing that pollinates chocolate. So chocolate's dying out because these poor little flies are dying out. So, you know, you just have to say, look, flies are very important. Recent studies have also brought to light that rare swathes of Hebridean orchids are mostly pollinated by, of all things, the dung fly, a bit of the beauty and the beast story. Although they're not everyone's favourite subject, the larval forms of flies, maggots, are hugely beneficial to the environment and to forensic science and medicine. We should be knee-deep in all sorts of horrors if it weren't for maggots that eat them all up and get rid of them. So corpses disappear, faeces disappears, and they help to keep the place clean. Most of us are unaware that many species are endangered, suffering habitat loss or affected by pesticides and pollutants. And of course, the more we know about it and about the distribution of flies and the status of flies, then the better place we are to be able to conserve them. We know so little about them because people have all gone, oh, I don't want to study them, let's go for the prettiest species. Well, actually, these are the ones that tell us what's going on. These are the ones that are absolutely dominant in our environment, so it's really useful that we do. Through research and developing our understanding of flies and their behaviour, the Dipterus Forum are working closely with many organisations to build a better picture of their life histories in an effort to understand how to protect them. With over 7,000 species and counting, it's a mammoth task and we need your help. By becoming a member, it's not just a great excuse to get outside and learn about your natural environment, it's also great fun and social. I joined the Dipterists a few months ago and I found it absolutely fascinating what I've learnt. It's been really interesting learning how important flies are for pollination and I didn't realise quite how much they needed protecting. I'm really looking forward to going on these field trips to meet the experts and to meet like-minded people. Field meetings are held throughout the year providing vital scientific data and also gathering like-minded people together to discuss recent scientific findings. The Dipterus Forum are also running workshops to help identify certain fly species for both beginners and experts. The beauty is that everyone can do it. Everyone can contribute to science and play a part in protecting the world we live in. If you would like to join us or simply learn a little more, please visit our website.